Rubicon Models continues to churn out top quality model kits that are suitable for the more discerning wargamer. Some of their latest and upcoming releases provide variants upon a classic armoured fighting vehicle and anti-aircraft support. The Panzer IV is one of the most iconic and widely produced tanks in the German arsenal. Serving in every major theatre where the German forces fought, the basic chassis was used to create a myriad of differently armed vehicles for use during World War II. The Panzer IV Alf's D and V variants took the basic design field in the early part of the war and upgraded it with more armour, a hull mounted machine gun and an improved commander's cupola on the later, latter version. The Rubicon kit includes five frames with parts to create either version, which produced up until 1941. The joy of a Rubicon kit is the attention to detail. The assembly is simple, but there's an awful lot of scale modelling detail which other kits lack, plus pieces of stowage, etc. Some of the parts of the exterior of the tank are pretty small, but the effort is worth it for those who want an accurate kit. Sure, you can take shortcuts with some lesser models, but for those who want their wargaming models to look right, Ruber can have you covered. The Panzer IV Alsf J was a wartime expedient, simplified design, with a dual gear hand crank turret and a reserve fuel tank. Thanks to Allied bombing raids, the AUS design points had also been changed by 1944, which meant no zimmerit paste and wire side skirts rather than plates. Again, the box contains five frames which help to produce a model of the vehicle, but one which is robust enough to be gamed with. In addition, in keeping with the top end of the market, there are photo etched metal parts included to represent the wire skirts. You don't see that attention to detail on most kits of this scale, and certainly not those intended for war games use. The next kit is due out fairly soon and uses the chassis of the Panzer IV as its base. The Flak Panzer IV Verblewind was dreamt up as a result of the need for an anti-aircraft support weapon that could keep up with and protect German armour. This was particularly in need due to Allied air superiority in the Western Theatre after 1944. The kit itself contains seven frames, allowing the building of the Panzer IV chassis and the nine-sided open-top turret for the quad anti-aircraft guns guns and comes complete with crew. Again the frames are full of extras and an actual complete Panzer IV kit is included so you could switch turrets as desired. Lastly we have 3.7cm Flak 43 anti-aircraft gun. The options available on the single frame allow for the use of a static or wheeled mount and there's a crew of three included with clips of the large ammunition used by this weapon. With a little work, this could be converted for use with the Panzer IV chassis to create the Morbelwagen or Ostwand variants for the late war Flak Panzer. When you buy a Rubicon kit, you get a model kit that may be used for wargaming. That seems an obvious statement, but Rubicon can always be relied upon to put the scale model concept first, then provide enough robustness in their kits to provide longevity on the tabletop. The fact that they always think in terms of options make these some of the best kits on the market. This video has been produced by WI Prime. WI Prime is Wargames Illustrated Magazine's online members club. As a WI Prime member, you get access to all Wargames Illustrated videos before anyone else. We'll keep you posted on what's new via the Primetime News Bulletin delivered to your inbox every Friday. If you're not a WI Prime member, you're missing out on loads of benefits, including access to the Wargames Illustrated Vault, freebies, discount vouchers, PDFs of the latest magazine, and more. Find out more about WI Prime by following the link.